Hi everyone, welcome back to Beach Angel Tarot. I'm going to do my Goddess Yamaya Womb of Creation for the month of January. <laughs> January 2021. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's already 2021. Whoa. Um, so with that, we had all the cards go flying, and so there's an exclamation point that we've made it into 2021. But I'm going to shuffle, focusing on our January 2021. And God is what she wants us to know for this month. I'm going to be using a fairy deck. And I'm going to shuffle for each placement versus shuffling and cutting the deck. So the overall energy for our month of January 2020. And two fell out. Um, so it is, the overall energy is communication, relationship work to be done. Creative ventures with friends, joy sharing, new partnerships that are fun. So I feel like this is obvious. You know, this is talking about communication and our friendships and our groups um, that we, you know, are connected to. It could be in person or in online. But just, you know, having more fun, having more lighthearted conversations, transforming something that may have been difficult in regards to that. There may be people that have social anxiety. Um, you may be addressing that in this upcoming year because you can feel like you can see here in a visual there's three people and this person is like way over here and she's like looking so you may feel like an outsider or some may feel like an outsider and so this is going to be addressed in this upcoming you know in this month of January and moving forward into 2021 it's a very beautiful So it could be a, within one particular relationship, or this could be, again, somebody that has social anxiety and feels out, like an outsider, um, somebody that doesn't have a lot of friends, you know, starting to work on, um, you know, becoming more more involved in groups. You could be joining groups. You know, this can come to everybody in a little bit of a different way. So however it finds you, this is the energy that's going to overtake our January. Something she'd like to see us create more of or spend more time on um, in this month. So this is something that's going to be happening or you're going to be, you know, addressing it. But something she wants us to spend more time consciously working on. Um, and it's crystal magic creation, dawn, the beginning. So like, this is just so funny because it is, you know, January, the start of a new year, the first month of the new year. And so it is to start new, is to start fresh. And I've been kind of forced uh, at myself, well, not totally, but I started to feel like I was being forced. I had an issue with my phone um, and just needing to kind of start, you know, new things with finances and this, you know, at this time and, um you know, addressing the phone issue and like losing information, you know, having to kind of like restart it, 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 it worked itself out a little bit. I was a little bit saved there, but, um, it's interesting. It's, it's creating what, however that comes to everybody. For me, it was those things, but she'd like us to spend more time. You know, you can see she's standing on the crystals and the crystals are very clear and they're very, um, you know, they look very clean. They remind me of the clear quartz points. So it's to clear out things and start anew. You know, so if you need to create a new bank account or you need to, um, you know, get your files in order or, you know, straighten everything up for your taxes and start over, you know, you, this is the time of year where we start over for our taxes and we pull all the things out from the file last year and we start a new fi file, you know, that's how we do it. And so um, it's, it's that type of energy, anything that you need to create a new beginning in regards to that is going to help so there's a sense here of doing that clearing out the old starting new new fresh energy and that's a, what every you know a lot of people are really doing or faced with outside of even the phone issues you know that kind of got added to my list of to do's but um I'm, and i'm now still going to be forward and address that as well but you know that's the energy she wants us to work on and spend more energy on is creating those new things and getting things in order for this new year also it could literally be working with crystals and crystal magic if that is your interest so of course uh, that is an obvious message there energy around our love life or for some love of life so energy around our love life for the month of january and there is there it 
his. It says, her special place. Find your own safe space inside and out. 16. 16, I was drawn to the number, like, pretty instantly. 16 is the tower. So it's to be in a place of not being shaken, right? <laughs> not allowing any external source to you um, steal your peace, steal your joy, take your power, you know? Um, not saying prepare for the tower, but I'm saying... Um, there is a sh sudden shift, a sudden change in the energy in regards to love life. And it's indicating here to find your own safe space inside and out. So be your own hero. Be your own um, knight in shining armor, so to speak. It kind of gives me that kind of feeling. Not to say that that energy isn't with you or won't be with you or this has anything to do with not being with a partner or leaving a partner or not having a partner. This is about being solid within. And when you're solid within... Um, that's the most likely time that the energies kind of will fall together for you uh, because you are that for yourself. You're not seeking someone outside of yourself to do that for you. So when you're solid within that place, everything kind of falls together, or so it is my belief. <laughs> so it's to be solid within that energy within yourself um, and not allow for that outside external fluctuations of other people's actions or inactions or words or however to affect you one way or the other. Um, it's, it, I feel like love life is about, you know, loving your life and then sharing that, you know, life with someone else, not looking to someone else to provide that loving life to you, you know, um, not hinging that on a person, but creating it for yourself and then sharing that good life with someone else and, you know, an, an equal reciprocity type of energy. So that's the feeling I'm getting from this. And I feel like obta having obtained that too. So it can be, um, you know, having found your special place. And I'm hearing that song. Oh gosh, I think it's Journey. It's it's the lyrics are taking you away to that special place. Um, it had something to do with her hair in, in the song. It was like, her hair reminds me of a warm, safe space where... As a child, I'd hide. There we go. <laughs> that's the that's the song for love life. I think it's a journey. Her hair reminds me of a warm, safe place where, as a child, I'd hide. Um, yeah, that is, there's something with that song. I will put a link to it below. It has to do with um, love life, and so you can be that special place for someone else. But I feel that this is in a very healthy way. You know, this isn't in a codependent way. This isn't in a, um, you know, unhealthy relationship aspect of type of way. This isn't a very solid, you know, being a solid individual in a very good space for yourself and then creating that haven type of energy. So interesting how that came. Um, so energies around finances. golden gift financial help is on its way so there is did i say that <laughs> i didn't mean it oh my gosh it's not what it said i mean i didn't i must have meant it but i didn't it's not exactly what the card said i said a financial gift is on its way but it's really magical help is on its way so i have no idea why i said that i mean i know this is a financial thing but i said it like i was seeing it on the card and like in my mind's eye i was so i'm sorry <laughs> it's not what it said but obviously there is a financial gift on its way. It's so funny they are. Um, yeah, so it's pretty self-explanatory. There is a gift. There is some sort of, oh, maybe it's the stimulus or something. I don't know. Um, it's too funny. <clears throat> Just gonna leave it at that one. Something she wants us to cleanse from January. So. Something she wants to help us for the month of January 2021 I've probably been saying 2020 but it's 2021 for goodness sakes um, oh there we go ah love this beauty and the beast unconditional love something she wants to help us cleanse and so unconditional love would be you know the things that would make us un not unconditional that would put conditions on love that would um, ask things of other people that would, you know, like back here I was saying how we don't want to look to have someone be the um, supplier of our love of our lives. We want to create a life that we love and then share that 
um, naturally with someone, right? And so it would be to cleanse anything that would put conditions on a love and um, or have conditions put upon you. To just it's just to simply be love and to it's that Christ energy, that light um, as well. That I must say unforgiveness, anything that is unforgiving to judgmental and non non forgiving or unforgiving. Those are the energies that would be needing cleansed in regards to love. <clears throat> yeah. And it could be speaking that too, because I have a little bit of a throat chakra there. Um, so it could be in speaking that unconditional love as well. And it doesn't always have to be romantical. This could be anyone you love. You know, putting con conditions on your children or on parents or parents on children, you know, however, or siblings or expecting or, you know, controlling that kind of energy. Um, is not healthy, so it cleanse away anything that isn't in that unconditional space. A seed of new energy to plant at the new moon, which I think is oh gosh, <laughs> January ish, it's like 13th, 14th ish. So, what to plant at this new moon, which is coming quick because I think today is the third already. It's like just turn New Year's and the next thing you know we're like off and running and, mm -hmm. sorry so the seed of en new energy to plant at the middle of the month oh gatekeeper fairy time time shifts dimensional slips and it's winter scene. we are in winter here um So it has to do with time, obviously, and this is a very, I find this one where it feels, you know, to the, to the human eye that time is unbendable, right? It's unchangeable, and we are a, sometimes we can feel a victim to time, right? Something's taking too long, or we didn't get enough time with someone, or, you know, there's always some angst around time, and so I feel, I feel it in that way. Um, of course, if you are a time traveler, I'm not going to say they don't exist because <laughs> I believe in everything is possible. Um, it can be to, you know, do something with that ability that you have, right? Uh, for those that are not that well versed in that area and <laughs> do not feel like they have the ability to bend time and to slip into, um, you know, time traveling portals, etc. Um, I am going to say it's to plant the seed of you know, angst or worry or regret around time, meaning um, feeling frustrated something's not moving or feeling anxiety uh, around a future event or feeling regret about something in the past. This has to do with the future or past in regards to the time. To help bring us, they're saying, to help bring us more into the present. Um, we have this winter scene and winter is, you know, where everything kind of goes dormant and it's still and it's quiet and it's too bring ourselves into the present moment so for the majority of us watching this is going to be to plant the seed to bring us into the present moment to release you know regrets around the past um frustrations about you know timing you know, again not having enough time with somebody that you love or um you know having lost time if, if in a certain situation letting go of all those um energies is, is the seed to plant around this and to bring yourself into the present moment more strongly and again, for those that are in the other <laughs> selection, you can pick your magical ability and work with it at this time as well. So I'm going to move forward. And what is going to come to good completion by the next full moon? Which I don't know when it is. It's probably maybe February 1st-ish. I don't know. I really don't know. But won't be long if it's not at the end of January. It probably won't be long. It'll probably be at the beginning of February. Next full moon, what will come to completion by that time or what energy will be around us is important at that moon phase. And I feel it's this. And it is stardust. Premonition, galactic communication, beginnings and endings. This one always grabs me. Is um, The wording on it is 
usually we'll hear endings and beginnings and we hear that a lot in tarot readings and it can become quite like okay because there's always endings and beginnings going on right so it's kind of like irrelevant but this one grabs me in a way that the beginning is first and then the ending and so it's like something begins and then something ends um versus an ending putting an end to something and then something beginning so it's a need it gives me a bit of and where i'm going with that is it gives me a bit of a um a full you know the full in the tarot is about taking a risk and starting something new beginning again and uh, taking a leap of faith she's even sitting on the edge here it, it, at probably what is a very tall building if so it appears to be in this picture right and so it, but she's protected so i feel like there's a need to kind of step out at that time take a risk do something that maybe you wouldn't normally do um and that is going to create it's going to close something out behind you right so it almost feels like it's connected to this card in a way um so maybe the work that you do in the new moon you know starts a ball rolling i feel like a accumulation of energy so it starts a ball rolling and you um start taking action or something starts to happen or starts to move between this time and the full moon and so it's to do something again take a risk you're you're protected a little gargoyle i see him as a little gargoyle there and um take a little risk and do something and it's going to help it's going to help end something um the action steps you take the little risk that you step out in faith with protection is going to help end something beneficial behind you again it's a sense of it's almost like you know if you're in a boat and you can see the wake behind you it's that wake they're showing me behind you that is the important part um in regards to the boat moving forward so it's like you need to move forward and the wake behind you i don't know why this is important um, kind of dissipates it dissipates out behind you but it fuels that ending fuels the new beginning but the new beginning has to start out first it's kind of weird I don't know what that is all about but for everybody it may be different so um, the action has to happen for the wake to occur and then to dissipate out behind you that's how they're showing it to me but this is what's going to occur you're going to get this feeling like you should be doing something or action starts to happen in between those times and that movement that acceleration that begins actually ends something um behind you but it's fueling that new start it's you know part of that new start it's a strange way of saying it but that's what i'm getting anyway i'm gonna let everyone go um hopefully you will have had a beautiful start to your new year happy new year's to everyone and i will be back for our february reading so angel blessings to everyone and oceans of love